dude, it's, it's like the perfect temperature. just got our food we got some chicken roti i've never had roti before this is what the roti looks like how do i explain it it's like a it's not like a patty right well, or i think the roti especially is the flat bread the roti is the flat bread and then, and like then the it can have filling. different fillings and yeah stuff like that. so in here there's chicken i see potato some kind of green i see some corn and they filled it up well uh-huh this is so freaking good. It is good, right? <laughs> Could stay over 10 years in the shell. Really? Yeah, only when you're ready to use it, you crack it, you grate it, and what remains, you put it in a jar and it stays fresh. You don't need it. to refrigerate it, you could just leave no, it. No, like no, that. you don't have to put it in the fridge. It oh, you just leave fresh it? In the outside. Oh, yeah. wow. Let's uh, drink, boil it. It's very good. Some people use it for the pressure, sugar, but it cleans your inside. Okay. How long do you uh, steep it for? Yeah, you boil it could a piece like this. Just one piece? Yes, yeah, so okay. because it's bitter. You break it up, you put cinnamon with it, you put bay leaves, and you boil it. If you oh, have wow. star anise, it's better than to put essence. Oh. But I don't have star anise, now it's finished. Okay, this one sounds really oh, good. Sauce. Yeah, how hot is this one? It's hot, but this one is my favorite. The yellow. The yellow, the yellow one? one, it's hot. It's really hot? You yeah. like it? You like it hot? Oh. You like it hot. mind when you eat it. Yeah, it's so pretty. Wow, look at all the colors. Oh yes, we just got some goodies here. It's a beautiful shot. Ooh, this is so nice. I want to look for a nice sundress or, yeah, a lot of these here. They're really pretty. Yeah, definitely pick one out you like. Oh, babe, look at these. And all these, three sets. This is so cute. Oh, this is so cute. This will squash to go into your lettuce, oh. so it's no problem to pack. Those are so pretty. Oh, that's man. so beautiful. They will go nice and brown. They never fall apart. They never get brittle. It's going to go nice and brown like this one, and they last for years. Oh, they turn and from green to brown? To brown yes. Wow. Why is it green? You could also put it into a freezer for two days, one day in the sun, and it goes chocolate brown, cocoa, dark brown instead of ordinary brown. You said two days in the freezer? One day in one the day in the freezer. And it goes chocolate brown. Yeah, yeah that's very and cool. And I do them different sides. And the big one, this one here is a hanging pot for the flowers. Oh, Which very pretty. Dead. And these make very nice gifts because they're unusual. Most places you go, you get basket made out of wood or bamboo, but this is coconut. Oh, pot. I love the hat. <laughs> very nice. And you also have the bird of paradise to go with it. Oh, wow. Aww. This is so nice. <laughs> but it gets very, very light. <laughs> <laughs> you look cool. <laughs> oh, it does. Yeah. It gets very light. So you have, light. you don't even know you have this on. Very light. Oh. How yeah. much is one of the small bowls? Those are 50 EC. 50 EC? For these ones. Big, the big one, $80. Yeah.
to teach a class because this is so cool. How did you learn? I used to climb the tree to get the material for a man that used to make this. Oh, okay. So staying around. He never really teach me. He always turn around. He never wants me to see. <laughs> <laughs> you had to pick it up. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> he didn't want you to see. <laughs> wow. Ooh, look at the finish. That's so beautiful. I still can't believe you just did that. I know you just did it right now, but yeah. it's still, <laughs> I still can't believe you just did all that. From coconut palm. To a basket. From yes, a from coconut palm to a basket. In five minutes? What, yes. five, seven yeah. minutes? <laughs> Is it that when you make the basket like this, do you make the hats the same way too? Um, there's a little difference in, in the hat because the, bas the hats you go up with a rim. Okay. And mm. the basket you do the inside. So. Oh, wow. Different. This is so cool. This is really cool. Yeah. We're almost there. Almost there. Just like that. Just like that. <laughs> Look at that. So it's all finished. Look at Beautiful. that. Beautiful. Wow. Thank you so much for showing us. Oh my gosh. I know you just did it, but I still can't believe it. <laughs> yeah. I still can't believe it. Yeah, better believe it. Wow. <laughs> Thank you for showing us. That was Thank so cool. Thank you so Thank much, you Frank. Frank. Gonna enjoy this. We're yes. going to enjoy our basket now. Yeah. And every time we look at the basket, we're going to think of here. We're going to think of we're Frank. Think of Frank. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much, All right, Frank. Take care. Have a enjoy great day. yourself, right? We will. Much. Thank you. So you can record this. I'm going to do this one. And I start in it. So these are just regular twists. Yeah, just regular twists. What do you call it? Senegal twist. Senegal twist? Yeah. But I'm a Grenadian, so this is Grenadian Grenadian. <laughs> Grenadian <laughs> twist. Exactly. <laughs> Grenadian twist. How long does it take for a Grenadian twist? No, not that long, baby. No time to waste. We're gonna <laughs> no time to waste. <laughs> no, no, no time to waste. Oh, it looks beautiful. Thank you. You could say don't want it up no better for me. <laughs> well now I have to take out my braid so you could come and do my hair now. No problem. No problem. <laughs> I didn't know where to come. I'm Jackie number five. <laughs> Jackie's creation number five. Alright. Jackie's creations. Yes, baby. Beautiful. All right, we finally made it to the actual, actual beach. We finished eating, we did some shopping. Now we're gonna go in the sun. Y'all, look at the view. Look at our view. So we're making our little camp. We're gonna camp out here under this beautiful coconut tree. Getting our towels out so we could walk to the warm water and chill. This looks so cute. Stipe. Oh wow. Yeah, I'm not that brave yet.
Grenada. This is our last full day here. We're actually flying back home tomorrow. Today's Friday, we're flying home Saturday. And right now we're just getting ready to head out, but wanted to do some laundry while we're here. Not everything, but just a couple of things before we head back home. After breakfast, we're just gonna go into town to do some sightseeing and just try to get as much as we can done in this full day. We are leaving sometime in the afternoon tomorrow, so there's not too much we can do because we wanna get to the airport on time. So yeah, this is our last full day here in Grenada. And I, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys what we are up to this is my outfit of the day I'm feeling very Caribbean today I wanted to wear something fun and vibrant and for my purse I have my cute bag that I got from Primark I have my braids up in a bun because it's hot and my hoop earrings outfit of the day for breakfast since it's our last day here our last full day in Grenada I'm gonna have the local Grenadian breakfast with saltfish fried plantain coconut bake and fresh fruit that sounds delicious and for a drink I'm trying to figure out what I want I'm torn between getting um, a smoothie or a seasonal fruit juice which I'm not sure which one it would be I'd have to ask but yeah, that's what I think I'll be getting. I'm gonna have a local Grenadian breakfast. <laughs> the other option that I really wanted were waffles, but then I'm like, I can get waffles back home. I know it wouldn't be, you know, maybe the same, maybe it would be done a bit differently, but like when you're in a different place, I feel like you should try things that are not as typical as what you have, right? So my gut wanted waffles, but my mind was also like self go with the grenadian breakfast i have plantains this is the coconut bake and salt fish and fruit we have some melons and star fruit and this is your french your french breakfast your eggs a baguette and croissant and coffee thank you oh thank you thank you so much what do we try first the coconut bake let me see Oh, it's hot. Do I put butter on it? Do you put butter on coconut bake? What is coconut? Let me taste it by itself. So this is the coconut bake. Mmm. Is it just bread? I thought it was going to be more desserty. Mm -hmm. It's really good. And so I'm adding some butter to the coconut bake. It tasted really good by itself. It's nice and warm. I just, it tastes like bread. I think it is bread. Mm. Mm. Yummy. Okay. So, now I'm gonna try the salt fish. This looks really good. This is the, this is the salt fish. Yeah. Yo, this is so good. Oh shit, <laughs> it is really good. This, this is amazing. Mmm. Mm. Okay, I'm glad I didn't go with waffles. <laughs> this is delicious. Oh my god, do you eat it together? Hold on. It's really good. Yeah, let me take. I'm gonna take some of the salt fish put it on the coconut bake I don't know if that's what, what you're, you're supposed, supposed to, to do but I'm gonna try it because why not all right how are we supposed to leave how are we supposed to leave now y'all this in the I think, okay, I think you're supposed to eat it together. Mm -hmm. Or this is what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna eat it with this. This is a sign, y'all. If you're traveling or in a different country, try the local breakfast because I would have gotten waffles and missed out on this. Like, mm, this is so good. And I'm usually more like a 
I usually prefer like a sweeter kind of breakfast, like pancakes, waffles. That's I'm a pancake waffle kind of girl. <laughs> but this is hitting so differently. Like this is so good. <laughs> this is so good. And to wash everything down, I got a lime juice. Oh yeah, she was right. The lime with the breakfast. Perfect, 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 perfect. <laughs> this is so good. <laughs> like, I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it because I was really wanting the waffles, but like, this is so good. Mm. Wow. Just. These are good. The bacon or something really good. Yeah. Yummy. Yeah. <laughs> it looks yummy. You can have some of my plantains if you want. I haven't had my fruits yet. I'm saving that for last. Oh, I see mangoes. I got mangoes, I got bananas, I got plantain, I got passion fruit. I got, oh, you uh, have kinnip. I got kinnip too. Wow. And I got uh, avocados. Avocado, okay. Yeah. I feel like I want some mangoes. Some mangoes? Yeah, some mangoes. Ooh. This is still a bag. Okay, we don't need that much. Just a little bit, not too much. I mean, how much mangoes do you want? <laughs> oh, oh, when are they leaving? Tomorrow. <laughs> we're leaving tomorrow, so we didn't want too much. But we were gonna go to the beach later and wanted to bring some fruit. <laughs> Thank, Thank you very you. much. Yeah, this looks night. so beautiful. Yeah. Wow. Yes, sir. <laughs> if we were staying an extra day, I would say give us more fruit. But <laughs> we're leaving tomorrow, I know, I know, so. <laughs> no problem, man. These are the, the sour soap with the little spikes, right? Yeah, yeah the sour, sour soap. Sour soap, yeah. And this is the sweet and this, sauce. And this is sugar apple. Sugar, sugar apple. Sugar okay. apple, yeah, that's yeah. what I'm yeah. saying. And the papaya, uh -huh. Thank you so thank much. You, yeah, thank you. You too. <laughs> Take care. I wish you one of the best. Aw, uh, thank, thank you. you. All right, we got some mangoes and bananas. We're gonna take our mangoes to the beach later. closed we didn't know that i imagine it's a COVID <laughs> thing maybe yeah because of covid the museum that we were trying to go to is closed so now we're just going to find somewhere else to check out house of chocolate which sounds amazing house of chocolate grenada museum we're gonna go in here look at the art oh my gosh History of cacao and tomato. Oh my gosh, we went there. Yes. We That's did. the place we went to mm -hmm. on our tour the other day. I guess these are a couple of the other chocolate factories yeah. around. Yeah, and we saw the tree. Uh, I know it's like intoxicating how good it smells in here. 
this wall is so beautiful. It's the cacao plantation ecosystem. And it has different trees and different different trees and different things that grow around here. I love how 3D and just colorful everything is. It talks about the process for the cacao tree. Wow. And we saw a nutmeg. We've seen the banana tree. Mango tree. And a grapefruit. chocolate soap yep I want a chocolate soap and what's this one another nutmeg soap you want to get two chocolate soaps huh they're kind of small you want to get two chocolate soaps because we have a nutmeg from yesterday and these are small enough that we can fit in our bags all right we got our ice cream this is the nutmeg ice cream our chocolates and this is the chocolate ice cream. Is it good? It's the chocolatiest chocolate ice cream you've ever had. <laughs> That's why I had to stare you down. That is I'm usually not a big chocolate ice cream person, but Rich, like it's so good. This is the nutmeg ice cream. Oh, oh my god. This is so good. Right. Mm. Cream is so rich. Okay, all of a sudden, nutmeg has climbed to one of my top spices. It's like sweet and vanilla. It's more of like the rich nutmeg. It's like later. Yeah. The first bite, the first bite, you don't get the nutmeg right away. But when you like start eating it, the aftertaste comes a little bit more, and it's so good. I'm really glad we're doing this because it's like. All the little things we didn't get to see, we're kind of trying to, like, we're trying to just cram them into one day, and, like, it's been nice. It's been nice to actually be in town and seeing some of the different businesses and, like, being closer to the water. I'm sad we didn't get to go to the museum, but the fact that this the second museum was right next door, this kind of, you know, makes up for it.
we're gonna get these goodies here. This is a clove soap. I think you could use this on your face and your body. I just wanna smell it too. It reminds me of African black soap with the color and the texture. So I think we're getting this. And we got a couple of chocolate soaps. I feel like, of course, we're in a chocolate museum. We have to get something chocolatey. So we got these chocolate soaps. These Grenadian chocolate, Grenadian chocolate soaps. I feel like these are gonna smell good too. And then the last thing that I wanna get is this um, pure Grenadian volcanic sulfur clay. You can use this on your face and body. And this is what it looks like. change because we're heading to the beach the beach is literally two minutes from where we're staying at our airbnb i have my cute dress my bathing suit and yeah we're off to the beach some bits of like volcanic rock that get oh, broken wow. up and make this kind of black sand. That looks so cool. All right, y'all. So I finally got out of the water after being in like a washing machine situation with the beach i'm exhausted i'm tired my knees are bruised up but you know what that was the best way to end our trip here in grenada i can't even see i don't even know if i'm looking at the camera because my eyes are filled with salt water ocean water but that's okay i had such an amazing time here in grenada the people are beautiful, the island is beautiful, and I hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog and just seeing our adventures here in Grenada. I had such a great time. There are some things that I wish I knew before we came here, but at the same time, it was like a fun surprise to learn, you know? But yeah, Grenada was amazing. We're having some mangoes on the beach. Like, what else can you ask for? Been looking for these forever if you're from the islands let me know what do you call this in your country in my country this fruit is called kenneth and this is how they look inside by looking at the shell you wouldn't think that this is edible you wouldn't think that this is a fruit but but growing up in haiti i used to eat kenneth all the time mm. so when we got here that was the first thing i was looking for kenneth but in grenada they call it chenneth so let me know down in the comments where you're from in the islands or just in general, what do you call Kenneth? <laughs> mm. This is so good. If there's anywhere else for us to check out in Grenada next time if you're from the island let me know that's it for today's video y'all I really hope you guys enjoyed it 
make sure you subscribe to my channel like this video and yeah thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time Thank you.